Hi, thank you for uh, tuning in today. We're going to calibrate our SL7510 series indicator so that it shows decimal points. Sometimes you have bench scales that are certified that have this indicator that you need to have decimal points and you need to calibrate. Uh, sometimes you have floor scales that you know have, for example, 2500 by 0.5 of a pound uh, accuracy and you need to also calibrate uh, and you need to have a, a video that has calibrations in decimal. So this is that video. Uh, the first thing you need to do is press the hold and print button simultaneously and it will go into the calibration mode from here going to press print uh, if you were to choose one you're calibrating in kg two is pounds and after that go ahead and press print c02 is basically the decimal points how many decimals decimal points you're going to have so in this case i'm going to have one decimal point i'm working with a floor scale that has 2500 pound capacity um, and, it, and we need to read by half pound increments uh, so we're going to choose one and press print c03 Go into print and enter that parameter as well. This is the accuracy. One will be 0.1, two will be 0.2, and five will be 0.5. So we're gonna go ahead and press print on that as well. You'll get to C04, which is the capacity of the scale. Go ahead and go ahead and hit print. Here you have to shift over with a units button, and then you have to go up to five. So and then you have to shift over again and create that too. So 2,500. Um, and since you have a decimal, so it's going to be point zero. Go ahead and press print. From here, you're going to have C05. Going to press print and go up to one. Once you press that print button, it's going to zero your scale out. So if you have anything on the scale, um, you need to take it off so that you know the scale is just you're just weighing. Um, you're zeroing the scale out and it's just showing um, the scale's body. From here, go ahead and hit print again. You're going to go to C06, press print, go up to 1, and this is going to sh uh, allow you to enter the calibration weight that you have. So I have 1102, so I need to go back and write that inside this section. So, so now I have 11 1102 on the scale, so I could lower that weight down and then from there we're going to press print. Okay, so I have the weight on the scale, I'm going to press print. Very well, from here I'm going to press ACCUM and it will show that I have 1102 on the scale. So I'm going to raise the weight and if you look on the side, you'll see the numbers that they're moving in 0.5 increments. Very well, I'm going to place the weight back down. Very well, okay, 1102, it is good to go. Let us know if you have any questions. Uh, we're more than happy to help you out. Thank you so much, have a great day, bye-bye.